Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a fun little problem. Which value is larger? Pi over 12 or this nested radical? We have the square root of the quantity 2 minus the square root of the quantity 2 plus root 3. This is, of course, a no calculator question. And I suggest you don't just try to estimate the two quantities. The difference between them is smaller than one one thousandth. Can you figure it out? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we figure it out? Since we have pi in the problem, a natural place to start would be to construct a circle. Let's construct a circle and suppose that it has a radius length that's equal to 1. Now let's construct a central angle with a measure that's equal to theta radians. Let's zoom in on this angle. Now here's a natural question. What is the length of the arc that this angle subtends? If we suppose that theta is in radians, then the length of this arc will exactly be equal to theta units. Let's now construct the chord that this central angle subtends. So it will be the endpoints of the arc, and let's suppose that this has a length that's equal to c. Let's calculate this length c. Notice that we also have the other side of this triangle is equal to a radius of the circle, so its length will be equal to 1. So now let's just focus on this triangle and the arc theta. So now let's calculate the length of C. We can do this by using the law of cosines, also known as the theorem of Al-Kashi. The formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of gamma. We have a triangle here. We know that one side length is C. Let's let the other side length have A is equal to 1 and the final side length we will let B be equal to 1. The angle is equal to theta. So directly substituting into the formula, we have c squared is equal to 1 squared plus 1 squared minus 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1 multiplied by the cosine of theta. We can simplify this equation to get that c squared is equal to 2 minus 2 cosine theta. Here we want a positive length c, so we will just take the positive square root so that c is equal to the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine theta. So how does this help us solve the problem? Well, let's substitute in particular values of theta. Let's just do an example. Let's just suppose that theta is equal to pi over 6. We can solve for c in that case. c is equal to the square root of 2 minus 2 cosine of pi over 6. Cosine of pi over 6 is equal to root 3 over 2. And then simplifying, we get that c is equal to the square root of 2 minus root 3. So we know the value of theta and we know the value of c. In the diagram of our construction, it is clear that c is less than theta because c is a straight line segment between the two endpoints and theta will be an arc. So theta must be larger than c. And therefore, in this case, we have shown that the square root of 2 minus root 3 is less than pi over 6. So now let's get to the original question. Let's suppose that theta is equal to pi over 12. We can substitute in for the formula for c. Now we have cosine of pi over 12. We can simplify this by using the half angle identity. So here theta over 2 is equal to pi over 12 and theta is equal to pi over 6. We know what cosine of pi over 6 is equal to so we can solve for this. The sine of the cosine of pi over 12 will be positive, so we know the square root will be positive. So we substitute into the formula. We will get the square root of 1 plus cosine of pi over 6 all over 2. Cosine of pi over 6 is equal to square root of 3 over 2. And all that remains is to do a little bit of simplification. And we get that c is equal to the square root of 2 minus the square root of 2 plus root 3. 
So we now have the two quantities that we want to compare. We have this nested square root and we have this angle pi over 12. From our diagram, we know that theta is larger than this chord, so it will be the case that pi over 12 will be the larger quantity. And we can just put this on the calculator and we can see it is slightly larger. So this is quite an interesting problem and I hope you enjoyed this geometric solution. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.